Someone won't stop smiling. I can't stop thinking about our Italy trip. Yeah, and Nice is going to. You still like that girl? What's not to like about her? There's literally nothing special about her. Says the guy with no girlfriend. I heard that. Anyway, let's focus on the trip. Can you make me a pizza? Ugh, sure. Did you buy the tickets yet? You were supposed to buy the tickets. I don't even have any money. Matthew. You were supposed to buy the tickets. They're all sold out now. Oh shit. I'm so sorry. Now we can't go to Italy. And it's all my fault. And it's all your fault. I'm sorry Michael. You're such an idiot, let's go. Where are we going? To a restaurant. I'm sorry Michael. Just shut up. We're almost at the restaurant. Where are we going now? I'll decide later. Maybe I shouldn't take you at all and just go with Denise. Dude, chill. I said I was sorry. Just choose something off the damn menu. Welcome to the slaughtered sheep. How may I be of service? Do you have any Pepsi? No. How about Dr. Pepper? No. Mountain Dew? No. Root beer? No! Then what do you have? How about tea? Yes, we do have that. And some chicken wings. We have fish and chips. Okay, then I'll have that. And you? I'll have what he's having. Did you hear about the murderous werewolf in New York? No, I didn't. They said that if someone got bitten by it, that person could turn into one every full moon. Oh my god, that's crazy. Now the werewolf is waiting for its next victim. Damn. You won't believe what happened? We can't go to Italy. What? Why? Matthew didn't buy the tickets and they got sold to someone else. Do you want to hear the good news? What's the good news? I bought the three of us tickets to New York. Cool. We leave next Saturday. Thanks for walking me home. You're welcome. See you next Saturday. I was going to the cinema movie with Tanya. You and Matthew are welcome to join us. Okay, when is it? Next Friday afternoon, at 1 o'clock. Okay, see you then. So Tanya, what movie are we watching tomorrow? Kyujo. What? But I'm scared of horror movies. Come on, Denise. Kyujo isn't even that scary. Fine, but if that movie is scary, I'm kicking you out of my apartment. Well damn, that's kinda going too far, don't you think? No, you're always lying to me. When have I ever lied to you? I don't know. How about the time when you told me you knew how to do hair, but you didn't then you burned me with the hair straightener? Or the time when you said you could speak French to that foreign exchange student in high school, but you couldn't then after that, you tried to learn French by getting your hands on a French to English translator. I could go on. Go on. You really want to go down that road? No, I do not. That's what I thought. 
Denise invited us to the movies next Friday. Cool. Here we are. I'll take four tickets to see Kujo. Okay, that'll be five dollars and forty-six cents. Kyo. Kyo. Are you okay? I'm not finishing that movie. It's not even that scary. That's the last time I'm ever letting Tanya pick the movie. Let's go. We gotta get ready for the trip tomorrow. I didn't even get to finish the movie because Denise was too scared. Oh, please, Matthew. Don't act like you weren't scared. I was not scared. Then why were you squeezing Tanya's hand the whole time? Well, um... Because you were scared. Was not. Was too. Was not. Just shut up and go to bed. Wake up. Wake up. Wake your ass up. I'm up. Get up. We have to go pick up Denise. We're boarding the plane in two hours. I have to pee. I don't care. Hold it. Because when we flew out to Costa Rica this past summer, you took four hours and we had to catch the next flight. We only have two hours to wait. I won't be long. I really have to go. You should have went before we left. I don't even know where the bathroom is. I'll take him. Okay. He has five minutes because I am not missing our flight because of him. Okay. Here's the BNB. Can we go to Central Park? Sure. He's making all the noise. <laughs> you don't want to go in there. Don't be ridiculous. Now step aside. No, Dr. Rosa. It's haunted. <coughs> Hello? Is this Denise Price? Yeah, who is this? This is Dr. Drake. I regret to inform you that Michael Kessler and Matthew Goodman have been attacked by a wild animal. What? Oh my god. Matthew was pronounced dead on arrival. And Michael is alive and at the hospital with us. He only suffered a scratch and a bite. And he really wants to see you in case he dies. Okay, I'm on my way. I'm here to see Michael Kessler. Room 153. Thanks. Hey. Hey. I heard about what happened to Matthew. May he rest in peace. I wanted you to be here in case I die. Well, I have a master's degree in nursing and I can tell you that you're not gonna die. I'll be right back. Matthew. Yep, it's me. You're supposed to be dead. I am. But that's not important. On the next full moon, you'll turn into a werewolf. 
You're lying. Nope. You're a werewolf now. Shut up! You got bitten by a werewolf. Now you are one. The only way you can lift the curse is if you die. What are you saying? You have to kill yourself. What? No! You have to. It's the only way. Shut up! You've gotten on my nerves enough when you were alive. I don't need you annoying me as the undead. If you're a werewolf, then you could kill someone else. I'm going to the store. Will you be okay by yourself? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Jesus. Fucking. That was a good movie. I'm not getting any sleep tonight. Let's head to my place and stay up all night. After we take the others home. I'd like that. <laughs> 